now, your weekly Wolfpack sports update, brought to you by News First 5. Hi, I'm Lee Douglas with this week's Wolfpack Sports Update, and we start with that red-hot football team, which had its backyard brawl with Adam State Saturday night, turning a 3-3 halftime tie into a 27-10 win. The big play of the night was the return of the second-half opening kickoff by Marquise Enoch, a 97-yard touchdown that put the pack up 10-3 and up for good. And with the win over Adam State, CSU Pueblo is 3-0, off to its best start since 1980 when it won its first and only RMAC championship. Now, the story of the week may have been the first ever night soccer games at the Rawlings Sports Soccer Complex. Last Wednesday, the men opened up by claiming their first win of the season, a two-zip shutout of previously unbeaten Montana State Billings, but that couldn't be matched by the women's team's night opener Friday night against 10th-ranked Fort Lewis. The game shattered school attendance records. The whole football team was out in support, and as those final seconds ticked down on the Thunderwolves' 2-1 upset win, fans stormed the field to celebrate. It marked the first time a CSU Pueblo women's soccer team had ever beaten a ranked opponent. We just proved that we're legit today. And this is an opponent that I know that's been giving trouble to CSU Pueblo in, in back in the history. And now, you know, it's like David and Goliath. And anything can happen, and we're so happy to get the win. The girls believed in themselves, and they, they played great soccer today. And I, I have to take my hat off to them. Also turning in impressive performances this week were the Thunderwolves volleyball team as Colorado Springs native Ashley Wilkinson and Bernadette Petrie set school records in attack efficiency in a three-set sweep over Shadron State and women's tennis, tennis player Morgan Forsyth who played her way to the semifinals at the Central Regional ITA Women's Tennis Tournament. Finally, congratulations to women's soccer player Morgan Perky. She's an alum of Pueblo South High School, and she was voted the GoThunderWolves.com Athlete of the Week. That's it for now. I'm Lee Douglas. We'll see you next week.